I am Master Ferdinand from Sri Lanka. Presently, I am sitting in my famous friend's garden, which has a lot of flowers in it. And today, I would like to speak to you on the chip, or the silicon chip, which has brought in new revolutions, or one may say, what you call, change the lives of the Indians, and brought in many benefits for them. When one thinks of the silicon chip, one may say that the future is in the sand, and how true this is. It has brought in so many revolutions to the lives of people. The present revolution that the Indians have done is they have made an iPhone that costs less than 1% of the present iPhones sold in the US. This way, every Indian will be able to own an iPhone at a very cheap cost, maybe around 100 to 200 Indian rupees, or maybe maximum 500 Indian rupees. So one can see how the silicon chip can change the lives of people. When one thinks of India, it has a population of over a billion people. So providing them with uh, their basic facilities may be a big problem. But the silicon chip has brought communication to them or into their doorstep at a very uh, economical price, which every Indian can offer. This way you can see how the silicon chip changes the lives of people. My mind goes back to around four decades where I attended a lecture given by the famous late Art C. Club. Here he spoke about this revolution and I never dreamt or even in my wildest dreams think that I will live to see it. But already it has happened and these things have come to pass. When one thinks of India, it's a nation that has a lot of tradition in it and maybe over 5,000 years of history in it. So much of what you call philosophies in it and so many religions and so many languages in it. And India is a place where there is a lot of poverty. Where there is, well, one, some critics may say, a billion beggars. But same way, it's a nation that is developing rapidly. And you get a very rich, developing, rich, middle class society that is coming up with this, uh, with the Madhi India's rapid economic development in the recent past. When you think of India, it's a big nation and it's one of the biggest democracies in the world which follows the Westminster system of governance which it, which it inherited from the United Kingdom. And well, with all its problems, it has kept its democratic system alive and well, it has not been able to give all her, all, all her citizens equal benefits or a better quality of life still, it strives to do so. When one thinks of Mother Teresa, she too started a campaign in India, maybe said with only two US dollars in her hand, but she was able to build an empire, or she helped the poorest of the poor, and she was known as the saint of the gutters, or people of India canonized her, a saint before, before death, because the Catholic Church canonizes people only after death as saints. She is known as one of the generals next to God for the humanitarian work she has done. Or she joins the band of people like the Salvation Army, what you call founder, founders of the Salvation Army like William Booth. He too was known as a general next to God. And in his motto, it was the three S's, soap, soup and salvation. Soap to clean the body, soup to nourish the body, soap to and soup to nourish the body and salvation to what you call to save the soul. That's how three S's in the what you call salvation army comes about. In the same way, Mother Teresa too opened out new revolutions in her work. One may ask who helped her. Well, some may say it is God. Because to start with only two dollars and end up with such high success. Because known it is known as, you know, a miracle. So one can see even the silicon chip has done a miracle like that to the poorest of the poor. If one looks at the small cell phone that I have in the hand, this is also a wonder of the silicon chip. It has all come about due to the silicon chip being exploited to its fullest. And many more things are going to happen in the future with the silicon chip coming down in price very rapidly and changing the lives of people. Today many Indians may be going to bed without their dinner of basic food due to economic factors. But 
many of them will go to bed with the iPhone because the iPhone will come down in price and many will have what you call aspirations and hopes. So I will close with the heel somewhere.